Okay, so hi, welcome to Virtual Western Cooking. Um, so we're making Swiss cinnamon biscuit things. Um, I realised I needed to film this once I'd done that, so it gave me. Um, already off to a great start, but yeah, let's go. Okay, so starting off in this bowl, we've got a cup of butter, um, half a cup of brown sugar and three cups of granulated sugar, and we're going to beat it until it's light and fluffy. This is what the recipe says, so let's go. I'm terrible at beating things, so this will be an adventure. It's like wet sand. We're going to be here a while. <laughs> okay, so we have beat our butter and our sugar together. The next steps are to add an egg. I personally always beat my eggs um, before I add them. I know this looks really grim, it's because I measured out the butter in this cup. Um, there's an egg, that was easy, um, and we also need to add the zest of a lemon, which I'm very excited for because I love things with lemon zest in, let's go with it, yeah that'll do, do this, I also always prefer to mix with a fork because it gets less lumpy, alright let's get mixing, this is a very appealing mixture I'm sure you'll agree. And stuff. The next step is to add three cups of flour. I know this isn't quite a cup, I'll do a small cup at the end. Um, the reason I have this huge bag is because we couldn't find flour anywhere down here next. And then my housemate went to Aldi and saw this bad boy. So now I have 10 kilograms of flour to bake my way through. So this will be exciting. Right, that's a proper cup of flour. Two. One more. Okay, flour everywhere that you can. Please ignore the state of my kitchen, at least what you can see of it, because, well, I need to clean it basically, but who I will. And then a third cup. I'd leave it there and I might add a bit more, because I'm aware my first cup wasn't a full cup, I might add a bit more in a bit. Right, so you need to add three cups of flour, how much salt, a teaspoon of salt. Exciting times. This is the best I've ever poured salt in my life. Go me. Right, that's a teaspoon of salt. And it also says to add a tablespoon of cinnamon. I'm going to need a tablespoon. Right. Um, right, so in the previous step, you're also meant to add a teaspoon of vanilla. I didn't have any vanilla, and the shops didn't have any. So um, I'm going to add a few more spices instead. And let's pretend that didn't happen. Oh! Oh my god, why is this so difficult? Right, let's pretend that's a tablespoon of cinnamon. And I'm just gonna add like a tiny bit of clove, a tiny bit of nutmeg, because I have no idea how this is gonna taste. I don't even know if I like clove, but you know, I feel like it's something that goes you put in gingerbread, so that'll be nice. Oh, that's really strong. Mm. And nutmeg. Go in the spoon end. That's easy, wouldn't it, Rachel? I do have a knowing like nutmeg. Boom. I'm already adapting the recipe, right? I'm gonna mix this up. Be with you in a bit. A lot of flour in here, so I'm gonna wing it and go in with my hands. Um, some people don't like doing this. I quite like mixing things up with my hands, so I just find it quite therapeutic. But maybe that's just me being weird. But I must tell you, the spices smell amazing. So I can't wait to eat these bad boys. Yeah. Definitely coming after a biscuit dough, so just you know, a normal dough, but for a biscuit, not bread. If you don't know what biscuit dough is, there you go. Great insight there from Rachel Jones. <laughs> I feel like I'm potentially going to overwork these, but it's fine. I might add a splash of water just so it comes together a bit better, um, but I will see you in a bit when I have made this into a dough. Okay, so we have formed a ball of dough. Quite proud of myself, that took forever. I have washed my hands, which is why they're not covered in dough. Um, don't worry. Um, it's not a weird trick of your mind. Right, next step is the exciting one where we do nothing for an hour because we clean film it and whack it in the fridge. So, let's take this bad boy. That was a solid stud. Did you get that? And then we clean film him. And 
I mean, you might as well come and see what's in my fridge at this point. You've seen the rest of the kitchen. We have an empty plate. Go me. Probably shouldn't have done that with the shelf the eggs were on. But it's fine. It's in the fridge. It's staying there for an hour. See you in an hour. Okay, it's been an hour. Let's get this bad boy out the fridge and get a roll in. I'm probably going to roll it in thirds because it's quite a lot to go. Um, and I do not, well, I have a lot of table, but it's covered in a lot of mess. So, I can roll little bits, I think. Oh, it's so cold water, it's quite sticky. Something like our outer section. It's quite crumbly though, but it means it'll be a crumbly biscuit. Or it means it'll be a really tough biscuit and I've overworked it. But let's pretend that we're not in big and it'll be a great biscuit. Um, flour surface. Well, I always flour my rolling pin. Bottle of wine. Not my wine, but you know. Let's get it rolling. It needs to be about a quarter of an inch thick. And while you're doing this, I preheat the oven so it's on gas mark four. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit or electric fan lights. I don't know what that is either. Um, but you know. You can Google it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a very sticky dough. That's just a just a heads up. I didn't add any more flour. Maybe I should have done. Oh well, I'll add more flour. Oh my god, I'm so bad at rolling things. It's definitely a work. Oh, it's all sticky. Ah! This is how not to roll dough with Richard me. Basically, let's pretend and with this through flour all down my skirt. This one is all going to be stuck to the table. Okay, I mean, I don't know how big an inch is, but I'm going to guess that's a quarter of an inch thick. What we're learning here is I don't really know a lot. Um, but okay, let's grab a knife and get a cooking. I promise it's not dirt, that's cinnamon. Um, if it's not threatening enough, I have a knife. Um, I would use a cookie cutter, but my housemate abandoned me and took hers. So I'll be using a knife and doing it freestyle. I'm just going to go for like basic squares, just because I'm probably going to cut the table. I didn't think of that. Whoops. Okay, if you're doing this on a table, don't press too hard because you will cut the table. But let's pretend that that's not happening. If I cut this way, I'll just cut along the line. Basic, this is how to destroy a table with Rachel now. Um... I'm also aware that it isn't a square yet. That's because I need to cut the other way too. Let's just cut the bit the scrappy bits off. Oh my god, it's so crumbly. Uh, you can be a square. Or you can be like huge biscuits. You can't have a biscuit that's too big though. I'm alright. Maybe we should have a biscuit themed rally. I would totally be down for that. I do not know what's happening here. Magic is happening here. Baking magic for baking with Rachel. Right, I'm gonna put these bad boys on a tray. See you when I have done that. Cut some very irregular biscuits. The next step is well, I don't have a pastry brush, but we're gonna brush some egg and milk onto our biscuits. Um, so there's one egg and like two tablespoons, and, like meant to be two tablespoons. I messed up pouring milk onto a spoon, so I have an unknown amount of milk on here. But um, I don't have a pastry brush, so I'm just gonna use the back of a spoon, I guess. To like brush some of this mix onto some biscuits. Um, no, how lovely. And then we're going to sprinkle with some cinnamon sugar, which is a quarter of a cup of, of sugar with a tablespoon of cinnamon. Very simple. How lovely that looks. There's a lovely boy. I'll do another one and then I will pop them in the oven. Oh, that was a very icky here. Move the fork. Oh, right. I'm not very good at baking. This is what we're learning here. Sprinkle some sugar. Right, do not give this to a three year old because that will be very hyper because there's a lot of sugar in these things. Just means they're going to taste nice, but you know, we don't want to kill the teeth of our children or our own teeth. But okay. I'll do another row of this and then I will 
Oh, maybe that's the trick. Maybe I should pour a bit on and spread it. See, we're learning all the time. I was getting stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be so much sugar on the um, tray. Ooh, this is a very icky boy. Ah! Looks like we're going to have some cooked egg on our bacon paper. How lovely. This is basically eggy bread mix, and then eggy bread, eggy bread mix, egg and milk. But instead of dipping bread in milk, we're putting it on biscuits. I probably shouldn't just throw sugar willy nilly at tray, but hey ho, here we are. I reckon these bad boys break you in the oven. Um, yes, the gas mark for. 10 to 12 minutes. Let's see what happens. This is when my oven is on and I'm crying. We is on. He's a good boy. Right. We'll check up on them in 10 minutes. Okay, it's been 12, 13 minutes-ish. I reckon we've definitely been done. Oh, look at them. They smell so good. I can't even begin to describe how excited they are to Right, we need to cool them on a tray. And then, not gonna lie, oh, I forgot my spatula. Back in a second. Oh. <laughs> right, we will transfer these to a wire cooling rack, or in my house, a grill thing. Don't they look good? You can tell I can't cook. Fine, they smell really good. Hopefully they taste really good and hopefully they've been cooked long enough. Um, but I followed the recipe, so they should be. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of dough left. Um, I reckon we're gonna get another five trays of these in. So these are probably a really good biscuit if you're baking for like a bake sale or something. Um, but I will let you know how they taste in a bit when these boys have cooled down. Fourth and fifth trays in the oven. I've got another two trays worth there. Three trays have come out, but I think it's time to try one of these bad boys. So I'm gonna put them on. And watch this. <laughs> Never eat on camera, this is weird. They're nice. They're not too cinnamony. Like, I know cinnamon is quite a strong flavour, so I mean, I personally prefer a stronger flavour of cinnamon, but they're definitely edible and I will definitely devour the rest of these. Um, yeah, they're good. I fully recommend baking them in this video. Um, come to virtual Witten. Come to actual Witten, that's the main thing. But yeah, they're good. See you soon.